Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be tie-dyeing a whole bunch of different clothes. I've been seeing a lot of tie-dye on Instagram being worn by celebrities and fashion bloggers and I really wanted to get my hands on some. So I had gone online and I had looked up different tie-dye tracksuit sets and t-shirts and a whole bunch of things, but there was nothing that was really standing out to me that I wanted to pay for. Like nothing seemed worthwhile. I saw stuff that was as expensive as, now I had no intention of buying this, but Off-White did have a set that was about $1,200. So we're gonna be trying to recreate something that looks a little bit like that. Not exactly like, but a little bit like that one. I'll show you which pieces I'm planning on doing. This is a champion cropped t-shirt that I had actually gotten from a second-hand store. There's a couple of little makeup stains on it that are probably from me, so I thought if I tie-dyed it, I would give it a second lease on life as something a little bit different. I also got this very oversized on me t-shirt. So this is a double XL men's shirt, so it's very straight up and down, which is the look that I wanted it. I wanted it to be very baggy. And I thought that I would do this one all one bold color. And I also got these Nike socks. I saw someone wearing these with a pair of white Air Force Ones and they had tie-dyed their pair. And I thought that that would be a fun way to do a really rainbow design as someone who's not super fond of a ton of color, but introducing it a little bit. This is the track suit that I got. So crew neck, um, cotton, and then also these tracksuit jogger pants so both of them are the exact same color white so hopefully they'll turn out pretty much the same and just give a very cohesive set like look that i'm after i also have this um, i'm actually gonna bleach this one i have put some stains already on it as i had worn it to clean my shower so with the shower chemicals, it just kind of got in there. It was probably pretty stupid of me to wear black, but there's already some stains on there. So I thought may as well just kind of give it the whole distressed sort of thing going on there. So yeah, those are the pieces that I got to tie dye. Um, and I also have the materials as well. So we'll go grab those on. So here is my bucket of materials. I will also be using this bucket to rinse off the dye and the bleach from the clothing items. Some cling wrap to let the dye set. Some bleach for the bleach tie dye. I did read that cleaning bleach and laundry bleach would have a very similar effect when it came to the tie dye. This was only $2 from the reject shop, so hoping for the best with this one. Some rubber bands. And also this tie dye kit from Kmart. This was only $8. I'm hoping that it has a really pastel sort of look rather than really vibrant. I think that that will look, I think it will look cool. So this also comes with some gloves. So I will be needing that for the bleach as well. I got these two squeezy bottles for putting the dye on the clothes. They're just little sauce bottles. Um, I'm thinking that they're gonna work really well. I have these three dyes that I had picked up from Spotlight. I think they're writ or right. I don't know, I'm not <laughs> commonly in there. So this is the petal pink dye. I got the black and the black I have seen bleeds a little bit when it's used in tie-dye so it will give more of like a black and blue effect which I really liked the look of so hoping for the best with that one and then also the denim blue so I think that this will be like muted almost like the blue that I think the black will make and a drop sheet to protect the table that I'm doing this on as well as the floor because I know that this could make a gigantic mess. Also some masking tape as well to protect the logo on my champion crew neck when I'm bleaching it. I'm hoping that the logo kind of stays intact and the bleach is like around it. And yeah, that's pretty much all of it. So let's get started. I've gotten changed into some clothes that I don't really care about just in case this does make a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna start off with my champion shirt. I'm going to do the damp method. So I'm gonna wet it first and then dry it off a tiny bit with the towel because I think that the dye will bleed a little bit better on this one. I think that I'm going to try the scrunch method with this shirt as I think I will probably for pretty much every single one of them. I just want the color to be really random through the shirt.
pink dye in uh, the squeeze bottle. So I'm just gonna cut the top on this one. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. And we'll start putting that on there. So I've just opened up the Kmart tie-dye kit. I think we're going to use these four and still the pink again on the socks. So I'm just gonna go add water to this one and I realized I wasn't wearing my gloves for the first shirt but I didn't get literally any all in my hands. So I'll wear these for the next one. But as you can see, these fit perfectly. Um, <laughs> this was actually in a kit for kids. So I'm not sure, and my hand's just not going up. I don't want to rip a hole in this straight away. Hopefully they'll keep my hands pretty clean, but yeah. <laughs> With the socks, um, I'm pretty much going to do a rainbow look. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this, so we'll see. I have my Kmart dyes ready. I'm very interested to see how these are going to turn out. Um, they seem to be separating a lot of the bottles but only time will tell how they really show up. It's just like sitting on top. Okay, that dye is just like hardened. <laughs> It, like, the powder didn't separate. So far, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like what this looks like. So I don't know what to do <laughs> because I think that I just ruined a nice pair of white socks. <laughs> um, let's try to recover it with the pink. We'll just put that where all the white is. the other colors are. I feel like these dyes compared to the one that I'm using now really suck. They're not good. Um, I probably, I mean, we'll wait and see the results, but oh, I don't think it's gonna look so good. <laughs> I feel like the random, like, that looks a little better. So I've dampened my sweatsuit ready to put the black dye on there. And once again, doing the scrunch method with this one.
last colored piece of the video. I have taken the denim blue and put it in this bottle and once again I'm going to be doing the scrunch method. So I've wrapped up my uh, crew neck in the little spiral pattern formation um, and I'm planning on putting the bleach in these triangles here. So this one, this one, and these two. That's because I have the logos on these ones which I don't want to get ruined. So I've taped them just in case. But yeah, that's the plan. I've repurposed what we were using for the other tie-dye and I put bleach in here. And yeah, this one I will be wearing my gloves. I know that I've been not wearing them. They're just hard to work with, but I definitely don't want to be burning my hands. So it's about 10.30 at night and I've just unwrapped the items. It's been about six to eight hours for each one. Um, the front one is the tracksuit, so it came out that black blue that I was expecting. And then we have the denim blue on the shirt. This one actually came out a lot darker. I didn't think that the spots were going to be um, as blue. I thought they'd be more white, but I do like the effect that it's given. And then we have the pink, which came out really pretty. And then I have the bleached item down the back and two socks there, the rainbow socks. So really happy with how everything turned out. Um, I'll be giving them one more wash before I actually wear them just to get rid of any excess dye. I do have a towel there and I can see that things are <laughs> dripping. I'll show you them tomorrow. So it has been a couple of days and all of the tie-dye has set and been washed and is ready to wear. I'm currently wearing the bleached crew neck and I'm super happy with how this one turned out. I think that the bleach really, really stands out and has kind of given this um, sweatshirt a second lease on life. It used to be my favorite and I was very sad when it got bleached. So now it looks very good again. I have the champion top here which I love how the pink turned out, and I'm gonna insert a couple of clips of what it looks like on. I'm thinking with this one, I'm just gonna wear either jeans or white pants, and then also some sneakers. I think it will look really casual and cute. I also have the sweatsuit, which I'm super excited about. I think this turned out great. So it came out with that black and bluey purple sort of look that I expected with this dye. I think that I'll be wearing this around the house in public. I think this would also be like perfect for um, flying because it's super comfortable, but it's also very cute. Definitely gonna be wearing this one with sneakers as well. And then if I wanna dress it up, I'll be using some gold jewelry. Here I have the big 
t-shirt dress. Um, I love how the blue turned out. I think it's kind of similar to the black, but I do think that it it's like a solid all around blue sort of look rather than the black and purpley blue. And I think this one will also look cute with sneakers. Pretty much all of them are gonna look cute with sneakers. They're all pretty casual, but I think that they can be dressed up and down. I think that I could also wear this with jeans and it would look really nice and like a monochromatic sort of look. I have these socks, which I am wearing, so. <laughs> so the socks probably turned out the least best. I don't wanna say the worst because I will be wearing them and I do think that they are very cute, but the $8 Kmart dyes were very average and I'm suspecting that they'll probably wash out within a couple of wears. Overall, they do look like very pastel. The, the pink definitely stands out more than the other colors and when I washed these the first time I thought, oh yeah, the, the Kmart colors look really bright but then I put them through the washing machine to really get the dyes fully out and it pretty much... They didn't disappear, they're still there, but they really muted down. I did also want to include the price of the most expensive set that I had saw online when I first wanted to make this video, as well some of the prices of the sets that were on Urban Outfitters. Also, to make all of this stuff, this was the final price. I'm gonna insert it all, I just don't know it off the top of my head, but I think that that's probably a pretty valuable lesson that if you do it yourself, you might be able to make something that is gonna be a talking point piece. It was a lot of fun and you kinda of get to do exactly what you want. That is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll include my socials down in the description. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.